light, sound, and force. Class 3. Science. Children, we know that the sun gives us light. As night falls, we use different objects to give us light. Look at the objects given in the picture above. Identify the objects that give out light. Here, the objects that give us light are lamp. And, the sun. Can you see anything when you enter a dark room? No. The moment you switch on a bulb or the tube light, you can see everything. Can you read a book with lights off? No. This is because we need light to see things. Understanding light. Light helps us to see. The sun is the main source of heat and light on the earth. The sun. Candle. They are. And lamp. Are examples of the object that give light. An object that gives out light is called a luminous object. Paper. Table. Kite. And bed are examples of objects that do not give light. An object that does not give out light is called a non-luminous object. When light falls on any object, we can see it. We see non-luminous objects only when lights fall on them. Shadow Have you ever noticed a dark patch on the ground when you stand outside in the sun? or, under a street light. The dark patch is, your shadow. Shadows are formed when an object blocks the path of light from, the sun, bulb, candle, etc. Sometimes shadows are smaller, and sometimes they are bigger than the actual size. A shadow is always formed on the opposite side of the light. Understanding sound When we talk, we are making a sound. Our tongue helps us to make sounds. We hear sounds of all kinds with the help of our ears. If you strike a steel tumbler with a spoon, it makes a sound. We hear various kinds of sounds, such as, the ring of a bell or telephone, the cry of a baby, and the bark of a dog. Some sounds are soft, for example, whisper. Some sounds are loud, for example, the ring of the school bell. Some sounds are pleasant example, music. Some sounds are an unpleasant Example, the continuous honking of a vehicle. We like to hear soft and pleasant sounds. We do not like to hear loud and unpleasant sounds. Noise What happens when everybody in your class starts talking loudly at the same time? What happens when all the vehicles on the road start honking in a traffic jam? Sound that is loud and unpleasant is called noise. Too much noise disturbs us and is bad for our health. This is why we should learn to speak softly. We should always play television, music system, etc. at low volume so that we do not disturb other members of our family or our neighbors. Understanding force. In everyday life, we push or pull things to move them. A push or pull is called force. Force helps us to do many things. Force can move an object such as a toy car. Force can stop a moving object. Force can change the shape of an object. 
friction is a special force that slows down movements. So, when you push or pull an object to move it, the force of the push or pull should be greater than the force of friction. When friction is very less, things slide. When it is more, things don't move. If there was no friction, we would not be able to walk. We would keep slipping. Let us recap. The sun is the main source of heat on earth. Light helps us to see things. Shadows are formed when objects block the path of light. We hear sound with the help of our ears. Sound can be soft or loud, pleasant or unpleasant. Force helps us to move objects, stop them and change their shapes. Friction slows down the movement of an object. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe my channel and do not forget to hit the bell icon to stay updated. Your comments and suggestions are valuable to us.